and um, it might be interesting for Filippo as well because we might talk about sending meta to babies. Let's see if it if it if it feels resonant for you. None of what happens is a, an order or a command or um, anything compulsory at all. This is your space, your time to connect with what's nourishing for you. Um, but I would like to share a meditation that I found quite powerful um, that happened quite spontaneously for myself uh, during my time in America. I was in America for a month on retreat with uh, Venerable Ujagara, one of my main Kalyanamittas since the beginning of my monastic life. And um, and then I went on to Perth for the three months rains retreat and um, had this really lovely metta meditation. I generally do quite a lot of metta meditation um, because I find it useful for every situation, whether I'm in a good mood or not, a good mood, as we say. Um, but also when the body's sick and my body was quite sick over the last uh, four months. So I found metta very healing and comforting and um, helped me keep my mind in a healthy state. The Buddha said, you know, even though the body is sick, the mind does not need to be sick. And I really discovered that can be very true. <laughs> so despite that, and despite sometimes struggling to meditate as much as I would have hoped to due to the physical condition, um, I feel really uplifted and joyful and positive uh, and I feel that the wholesome qualities have grown during the last few months. And uh, certainly a lot of that was due to the practice of loving kindness, which can be combined with any kind of meditation and should be. You know, the Buddha said that um, right intention is basically the second part of the path and it arises through an understanding and appreciation of suffering. Um, the wise response to suffering is compassion, is loving kindness. And is a sense of letting go, letting it be, accepting the suffering that's part of life. And um, when we can do that, when we can, uh, as Arjun Bram says, dig in the suffering, like digging in dung under a, a mango tree or an apple tree, then it can transform into these beautiful qualities like compassion and metta that expand the heart's capacity to um, to uh stay with suffering and to understand it and also to connect our own personal struggles with those of all beings everywhere we're no different from anyone else and um, one of the most divisive things we can start to think is that others are different from us they are not like us these kind of sentiments are the precise opposite of metta metta is that which embraces all and which sees the common humanity in our hearts in our um in our being human, in our being alive, that can extend to animals and insects as well, all beings who breathe. The Buddha said, you know, pana, sabbe pana, means all those breathing beings, anything where there's life, um, does inevitably experience suffering and has the wish to come out of that suffering. No being wishes to suffer. So with these few words, I would like to start some meta meditation. <clears throat> and um, as in every meditation, although perhaps more in the metta, we need to show that care to our body, first of all, by really seeing that we're in the most comfortable posture for the condition of our body right now. And this already involves a little bit of mindfulness. We began this morning by checking in with our emotional world, but now see if you can check in with your physical world by coming in contact with the sensations in your body, perhaps in particular your buttocks that bear the weight of your body, your knees, which may be bent or perhaps stretched out. See that there's no unnecessary pressure on those knees. You might be able to put another cushion underneath one of your knees or if you're on a chair perhaps move your feet out a little bit so that the knees don't take all of the weight but your weight can go through the feet and into the ground and check your back as well is your back straight or bent how does it feel what kind of posture gives rise to a sense of 
wakeful alertness that's also relaxed. And make sure your ankles have enough space too, that they're not trapped under the shin or the thigh. And we'll start by just checking in with our body from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. So see if you can feel <laughs> any sensation on the top of your head. It may help to close your eyes and see if you can feel the top of your head as though the mind is landing in that place very gently and just having a look with an attitude of curiosity. Not forcing any experience, but just being open to whatever manifests there right now. No need to give things labels or names. Just see if you can settle into the feeling part of the mind. And bringing that awareness to your forehead. All the way down over your skull and your face. Allowing any muscles that are contracted or tight to just relax. No one's looking at you right now. We all have our eyes closed, so just let your face become loose. The jaw to relax. with an attitude of kindness towards your face and the feelings you experience in that part of your body. Just letting them be. And you may find your awareness just slows down naturally through each part of the body, through the neck, the shoulders, down to the arms, the elbows, the forearms, fingers, hands, right down to your fingertips. Receiving any sensations in those areas. And caring for those feelings in your shoulders and arms. And bringing this light, gentle awareness to your chest area. Allowing it to spread right across the chest to the rib cages. The tummy. The abdomen. Just noticing any sensations 
on the surface of your body, perhaps deep inside, whatever manifests at this moment, just receive it with care. Allowing everything to relax. And moving to the back. Perhaps starting at the upper back and moving down the spine. Spreading through the whole back down to the hips. Noticing how these sensations bring you into the present moment with ease. And with kindness when you allow things to be. Noticing your buttocks. Perhaps sensations of heaviness or weight, pressure, maybe heat, whatever the sensations, just remaining curious and kind. Sensing into your thighs. Exploring the whole area of the thigh, both thighs down to your knees. giving all the sensations you experience plenty of space to be just as they are. Without judgment, without wishing to change your experience. And noticing your shins, calves, ankles, all the way down to your feet. The heel, the sole, the toes. Giving your feet full permission to relax. And just noticing the whole body with all its various sensations, feelings. Sitting silently in this space.
imagining that your whole body is suffused by loving kindness, warmth, acceptance and care. Perhaps noticing the silence that's growing in your mind, surrounding your body, and the silence inside your body. Including that in this field of loving kindness as well. Just softening into the silence between each thought. Making it important. And perhaps as the mind enjoys the silence, you may start to notice this very humble, quiet breath. This beautiful breath that gives you life replenishing the body with oxygen <clears throat> taking out all the waste products often without receiving a word of thanks See if you can generate feelings of gratitude and warmth, loving kindness towards your own breath. Perhaps as though you're watching your own child breathe. Or 
maybe a nephew or niece. Maybe that child is you. Imagine holding yourself as a baby in your arms, lovingly watching yourself breathe. Nurturing that child that's a part of you. A part of you that needs your own love and care. That's fragile, that's vulnerable. That sometimes feels scared. giving your own inner child a feeling of safety, a feeling of protection. Maybe as though that baby that's you is sitting there, curled up in your lap. Perhaps starting to gurgle, to smile. To relax. To receive that love. Just staying with this perception, if it works for you. Or allowing your meta to flow to whoever comes to mind. Perhaps. Maybe you in another age, another time of your life. Just in meta to yourself or to any loved person in the way that works for you.
giving yourself the love that you need. Perhaps if it helps, putting that into words, simple wishes for the well-being of yourself. Perhaps as a child or a teenager, or simply to your experience right now. And staying embodied to this experience, noticing any sensations that arise, perhaps associated with these attitudes, moods of loving kindness. Perhaps a very subtle softening or warm in the chest or a general sense of ease
and allowing the mind to open up to receive this beautiful loving kindness that's growing inside. Enabling the mind to more and more deeply relax. And trust the process. Staying with this beautiful loving kindness towards yourself if you wish. If that's what's needed right now. Or starting to let it spread. Perhaps firstly to all of us sitting here together in this room. Recognizing that from time to time we all feel helpless, alone, like a child, vulnerable. Subject to being hurt. just offering that gift of safety, of protection, of kindness and care to everyone here today. A care that allows people to be and to feel just as they do right now. May we all feel safe, accepted for who we are. May we extend that gift to everyone we meet, to our families, our friends, 
and even to strangers in the street, may they too feel safe, feel loved. And experience peace. All beings in our local areas, wherever we are around this globe, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Belgium, Oxford, UK. May all beings, whether human or non-human, or pets, or so-called pests, Birds in the trees, in the sky, the insects, and invisible beings as well. May they all receive the warmth of our loving kindness. May they all be safe and well. Just allowing this meta to spread in every direction across this globe. Allowing it to linger in those places that may be most in need of the healing power of loving kindness. Just trusting the intuitive wisdom of loving kindness to go wherever it's needed and to reach the beings there. Until this whole globe, this whole planet Earth is suffused with metta, perhaps as though you're now holding this world, our beautiful planet Earth in your lap. And suffusing her with the same care, the same protection that you did toward your child. Noticing the feelings in your heart right now. And just relaxing. Letting things be.
start to chant final blessings. So just receive the words of loving kindness to end the meditation. Sabe Sata Sabe Para Sabe Buddha Sabe Purgala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariya Pana Sabe Itiyo Sabe Purisa Sabe Ariya Sabe Yanariya Sabe Deva Sabe Manusa Sabe Winipadika Awira Hontu Abya Paja Hontu Ani gahon tu Sukhiatanam pariharan tu Dukha munjan tu Yadalada sampadito Maui gachan tu Kama Saka Sadhu 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 see some of you giving it some and some of you quietly coming out of your meditation <laughs> if you do have more time of course you don't have to come out just yet you can uh, just very gently emerge and please just stay connected to your body as you do open your eyes because sometimes we throw away our mindfulness too easily and forget to take it with us into the day. So, um, just feeling your body sitting and connecting with the people in the room. I have my own real life people here, Casey and Linda and Cheryl, and a uh, lovely energy here. And thank you for being part of it. It does feel as if you're here as well. Hopefully you also feel that we're here with you. Um, so if there are any feedback at all or things that anyone would like to share right now, please feel free to do so. You can uh, just raise your virtual hand or write something in the chat if you have anything you'd like to say. Maybe if something worked or didn't work or what works means anyway. <laughs> Sometimes people think that meta should always feel warm and fuzzy, but sometimes it just illuminates whatever we actually feel and allows those feelings to be. Sometimes you may be feeling sad or stressed, and that's okay as well. Uh, hello, Karen. Thank you for writing in the box and saying hi. It's wonderful to see you didn't say hello in the beginning because I think you came in five minutes later. I'm just going to try and relocate the chat box. Yeah, there we go. Welcome back. That was a wonderful meditation. So good to see you and all our friends. Yes, likewise. Hopefully we'll be seeing you somewhere on this next coming couple of weeks. 
on the tour with Ajahn Brah. Uh, on a slightly different note, hope you had a wonderful Vasa. Hope you're doing better health wise. Thank you so much. Yes, it was. It's interesting. I wouldn't really use the word wonderful, but I don't know. Sometimes we have to redefine those words. It was a challenging one and a very, very different type of retreat for me because of this. Uh, the condition actually prevented me from sitting very much, so I had to find a way to um, to maintain the practice, which means really the cultivation of wholesome states um, in every posture, uh, whether walking or resting or you know whatever I was doing, um, and not to limit this idea of meditation to the sitting posture and to treat being a certain way. So I do feel I've developed a lot of uh, strength, a lot of acceptance and equanimity. And um, one of the things I did, and I, I noticed my mind was, you know, going to be susceptible to projecting into the future, to worrying that because I'm not going as deep or getting as much sitting time as I hoped, this would have implications later. And I had to really stay present and notice that tendency of the mind and say it doesn't mean anything because right now, you know, what is the mind doing? Is it uh, generating the right intentions of loving kindness, letting go and compassion, or is it moving into negativity? So as long as we can stay with that making peace, being kind and being gentle to every moment, there's no need to, to worry or project. So that was very, very good for me. And I feel that um, that practice is staying with me now as well. Um, I'm surprisingly on worried about the next days and uh, of course I have very good volunteers here. Shell in particular is helping to manage the, the volunteer schedules and the things that are coming up but um, yeah I do feel very much more grounded and accepting of things as a result. So I always feel that um, we can't measure, uh, we can never measure but especially on meditation and our retreats, by the experiences we have, we have to see how it manifests in our daily life. So, yeah, the retreat continues in that sense. <laughs> Anna. Oh, you're muted again. Oh. Maybe two of us are doing it together i was unmuting her now you're muted again <laughs> this is a test in patience for you do you want to unmute them better way? sure i'll just take care of it okay any luck Hi. yeah hello Hi. lovely to see you and everybody and uh, i felt so connected today to everybody it was just wow yeah it was really i'm not going to say wonderful it was really good really good i mm -hmm. uh, such a good feeling after yes. meditation such warm feeling and just like embracing everybody and uh, lovely to see you like after a long time <laughs> long time yeah really nice to yeah, see yeah um, i'm really going to miss um the whole tour unfortunately but i will try to connect in little ways i can yeah to... just for um everybody's information i don't think we put it on the website uh, maybe we should have done <laughs> that we will live stream some of the talks uh in the mornings probably uh that means this kind of time so like 9 nine thirty to 11 oh, brilliant i think they'll be live streamed on the retreats so the retreats are on the 9th 10th 11th of november and the 17th and 18th or no 18th and 19th saturday sunday so kind of next week and the week after um and also probably one of the sessions in the afternoon it'll become clear it'll be posted up on facebook on our facebook page but if you just um if you are subscribed to our youtube channel i guess you'll get the notification because it will be live streamed on anukampa bikuni project youtube channel um and also we we post it all up afterwards you know on our channel as well so everything will be recorded uh yeah mm. 
so you'll be with us <laughs> we'll miss yeah. your food though <laughs> i must admit anna usually cooks for jim brown and i and she can cook anything i'm not going to miss next year you're not going to miss <laughs> next year yeah she can even cook british stodge but with a difference because <laughs> that's what ajan tends to eat <laughs> yeah anyone else or anything else people are thanking us for the live stream yeah um i haven't really got back into like putting stuff on the website this is the big gap in our project and i think i have to get linda involved we don't have a website person to put stuff up so <laughs> it's just always behind a little bit behind the game uh but yeah you can join in and there's also a zoom uh a zoom talk with ajan brown like it's the wolfson talk tuesday evening um seven till nine uk time tuesday evening that's um tuesday the 14th and um you can basically book a, a zoom place um to come to that i think we have about 35 there's still quite a few places if you want to join um it is a little bit of a fundraising one so we do have a little fee not too much um also helps us pay for the venue because most people aren't come there's only very few people coming to that venue in person uh because it's kind of in between the two retreats so but if you can't afford it just let us know and um you'll get a place nevertheless so good you can go to the newsletter yep so if you go on our website to the news page you can find the newsletter archive or you can go on our events page and book from there okay Super, thank you, Volleys, for putting in the links. That's really great. And uh, yeah, for me, it was wonderful to reconnect as well. I had no idea if I would make a coherent sentence uh, because I'm still really jet lagged. But there's just something about being together and just giving it a shot, you know. And somehow, I think it's our practice, isn't it? It's nothing to do with me being awake or asleep. It's just to do with our intention to practice and. Uh, the spiritual friendship that hopefully we all feel by now even those of us who don't come as often but you're all very much part of this community so it's been lovely to see you all and uh, hope to see many of you in person soon so do take care and uh, i wish you a really lovely day so we can uh, stop the recording and uh, you can wave goodbye if you wish <laughs>